Okay, so let's use Microsoft Excel to calculate the variance, standard deviation, and range for a sample data set. So first I'll open up Excel and now I'll go to the first cell. Let's go all the way up to A1. So here's our data set, our sample data set. Let's say we have 36, uh, 27, 50, 42, 27, 36, 25, and 40. So here's our sample data set of 36, 27, 50, 42, 27, 36, 25, and 40. So I've already added in data analysis, so now I just need to go to data. Click on data analysis. And from data analysis, in a previous video we went over this and chose histogram to create histograms. But this time we're going up to descriptive statistics. All right, it asks for our input range, so I'll go back to cell A1 and highlight from A1 to A8 all of our data values. Now I'll go to output range, click on output range, click it within the box, and I'll just move over to let's say C1 because that's where I want our chart to begin at when it pops up. And then I'll click on summary statistics and OK. And there we have the mean of the data value is 35 and 375 thousandths. Right. The median is 36 and the mode occurs the most at 36. It also gives us some other information such as the range, right, which is the smallest value subtracted from the largest value and the range is 25 because the smallest value here is um, 25 and the largest value is a 50 and it gives us two it gives that information to us as well and we can either, either calculate it by hand or we can just look right here and say oh the range is 25 right it gives us the total if we needed that and it gives the count which would be the n values and most of the equations it asks for n so this would be the n because we have one two three four five six seven eight data values so let's see do we need to do anything else with this we can move it over either way All right. um, also it gives a standard deviation of 8.6 and also the sample variance as well so this is a good way to check things once you worked it out by hand and you can check all the different types of descriptive statistics the measures of center and the measures of dispersion